Hello children, praise God. Welcome to the Kids 252 show. My name is Sina. The vibe I have, I hope it's the same vibe you have every time I log into the show. <laughs> so, next, last week, rather, I mean last week, then next week. But anyways, last week we talked about gentleness. Nimba so is anti next week in the coma, Katino Nakomio. Katino Leon Nakomio Nakapia. Who can guess? Who can guess? Who can guess? Hmm. This week we are back with self control. Yes. Self control, Chichi. Self control. Okubanga. We never been to Bihagal or Kura. No Gamani, the Sija Bikola. No Sarah or Mutimago. But when she takes a dinner, she takes a teach two for no. Kubana gained him one. So sometimes, but many, but many, 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 then they tell us what self-control means. So, but then some of you will be able to relate. But today in this show, Tuna Ebiyamani will talk about Balagako. We have praise and worship. We have the health tip. We have a lesson with our teacher. We have a very nice talk show for us to learn very many things. Then we have the health tip. Then we have did you know? <laughs> then we have. All the exciting things in the world, but each week now we're going to talk spice, kati masala, netubla, 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 then netubla Julia. So I hope you're excited to watch the show with me because nanga ngina so kamfulu memu, so kenda be, then maleng kome o, nga moyo muchikola, but we mete move on, then so far we mete move on. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I love you children so much. I can't wait for you to be back and see me again. Bye for now. Hi. small nothing is impossible for a super wonderful god every day i can know god is always there for me and my family
memory verse. It is coming from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. And it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Again, as I think, there is no law. <laughs> Can you repeat that after me? It is very long, but very interesting. It is in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. And it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, Faithfulness and self control. Again, the side things, there is no law. <laughs> Thank you, children. Have a wonderful week.
children, welcome to Kids 252. And it is a precious moment to learn from the Bible. We have been reading or learning about the fruit of the Spirit. Do you still remember? There is love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and so control and our topic today is self-control i'm so glad that you're here with me my name is flavia kujuka and i'm excited to be here with you let's watch this video and when we come back i'll continue daniel and the king's food the king was looking for strong, smart, healthy men to work in his palace. Daniel, his three friends, and lots of others were chosen. Daniel and his friends had to be taught what to do in the palace, and they were even given new names. The king gave Daniel and his friends food and drinks from the palace, but God said not to eat that kind of food. Daniel obeyed God asked the palace if he and his friends could just eat some vegetables and drink water instead. They let him just eat vegetables and water and decided to see if he looked strong and healthy after 10 days. After the 10 days went by, Daniel and his friends looked stronger and healthier than the others did. Daniel obeyed God and God blessed Daniel and his friends. Our story today is from the book of Daniel, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 21. And I think you know what it's about. It's about a big king, Nebuchadnezzar, who conquered Jerusalem, took out all the young men who were strong and healthy and intelligent to serve him. And you know what? They used to give them food from the king's table. But you know that food was not good because they used to first sacrifice it to the gods. So then he was like, no, I not defile myself with the king's food. And you know the king's food was good. You know, chicken, beef, wonderful. Ah, wonderful food. But Daniel said no. So he begged. That captain of the, the, the royal guard not to eat the king's food. But the captain was scared. He was like, no, you'll be very small and looking very bad when you're not eating good food. And I'll be in trouble. So Daniel said, test us for 10 days, giving us only vegetables. And after 10 days, you will see what will happen. So Daniel was tested for 10 days. And do you know what they were eating? Vegetables. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vegetables and drinking just water. And God favored Daniel. After 10 days, they were so healthy, so strong and happy. So the royal guard was like, wow. He took away all the king's food and left them with only vegetables and water. So Daniel exercised self-control. You know, good food is very enticing and very nice to eat. But he controlled himself and his three friends and they only fed on vegetables and water for the glory of God. Hallelujah. And do you know what happened? God blessed Daniel and his friends with intelligence, wisdom, and favor. Why? Because they had exercised self-control and they had not eaten the king's food. They had exercised what? Self-control 
and they had not defiled themselves by eating the king's food. Hallelujah. So God blessed Daniel and his three friends in the land of Babylon, and they became powerful for the glory of God. <laughs> now, my friends, I have a question for you. What did Daniel and his friends ask that royal guard or the captain known to eat? Do you know? Oh, yeah, someone knows. They asked him not to eat the king's food. And instead, they asked him that they should feed on vegetables and water. <laughs> That's wonderful. And I have another question. Why was Daniel not interested in eating? The wonderful king's food. Does anyone know? Oh, someone knows the answer. It is because the food was going to defile Daniel and his friends. It was not good food. God was not pleased with it. Have you got that? So what lessons do we learn, my friends? These are the lessons we learned from today's story. One, we have to exercise self-control because it is very good for the glory of God. God wants us to be in control of our bodies and our desires. Even if you're given wonderful food like this, which are, oh, no, no, I don't want to eat it. But if you're given something very nice, which is not glorifying God, it is up to you, my dear, and me to exercise self-control. Lesson number two. When you're in school or when you're at home, you have to exercise self-control. How? If you have been wronged in any way or maybe your friends have abused you you should not abuse back you should not fight you should exercise self-control say dear lord give me the grace to be in self-control of my emotions of my every deed and act Oh, that would be wonderful because you'll be a very nice child. Yeah? Don't you know? And if you're a good child, you'll be loved. That is a fruit of the spirit. Self-control. Lesson number three. When you want something, you don't need to put pressure on your parents. That mommy, me, I want ice cream, I want that, I want that. No, that is not good at all. Self-control is needed that even if you want that thing so badly or a toy or ice cream, you can forego it. You can exercise self-control and God will be pleased with you. Your parents will be pleased with you. And when time comes, they'll bless you with many much more than you wanted at this very moment. How oh, I'm glad that you've listened to that and you have taken those lessons at heart. Now I want us to pray because it is very difficult to exercise self-control if the Spirit of God is not with you. So humble yourselves, eyes closed, and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for my life. Thank you for the fruit of the Spirit. I thank you for your Spirit that guides me and helps me to exercise self-control in all that I do. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 
Thank you, my friends. Africa. Africa. In Africa. Welcome to the Kids 252 Talk Show. My name is Sheena and I'm back again 
you know when it's talk show time it's lesson time everybody get your book everybody get your pen everybody get your pencils sit down in a corner somewhere or in the chairs and get ready for what you are going to learn so this week i um, like i told you from the beginning we'll be dealing with self control hmm? self control chechi self control simani nange chechi tegeza ne ni no muntu ano wenja ola gende kutunyonyola self control chechi so be ready to have this person mubera nga mo minge ngalo za mukasita kasita muleta we bati ngamu ngamukola chi ngamukuba mu ngalo okay misa ko gutwaniriza ko 252 But that's our two angels. They introduce yourself to the children. Hello, children. Uh, my name is Ambrose Lukwa. I'm a parent and also a counselor by profession. I love uh, interacting with children, interacting with uh, many people, even adults. So it's a pleasure and a blessing to be here with you. You're a dad? Yeah. To how many kids? <laughs> Hey, they are four. Ate jange. Era nchibuzizo ni papas. Tukwaniriza kusheno. We want we want you to help us understand self control chechi. Self control chigambo chinene nyo kubana bange. Naemba den sabotu yambo chimenye menye nange anti ndi mwana ze mukulu wawe. Tuchitegere kuba tuchitegere tu self control. Chechi. Well, uh, like you've said it's a uh, It's a big word, but mm. uh, let's try to use very simple words. Mm. Uh, it's the ability, mm. inner ability, one's ability to control okay. or to limit mm. their emotions mm. or feelings mm. or behaviors. Mm. So that ability to put a stop or to put a reduction mm. on what you would want to do or on what you would have done otherwise and then so it gives you two options mm. there is something you want to do and there is probably what is expected or what would be coming out okay so that breaking that ability to say ah not too much mm. not too little just more just time. enough uh-huh. so that is the self but why it's called self because it's about you mm, it's yourself who is doing that mm. that balance nze kamba example kusinzira kuchentegede when you talked about okwepimira eh mhm what what time retu kango uyo yagala okuliye nyo nze tagala nyo okuliya kamere ya kamere kampomera so sometimes nyizo tukubane ndabanga enyama I love beef so much. Ne ko gambo tuke tsane ulira nti ne nyamenu ndi de nyinji. Ne no kendeza mno alero kale kande kuchinyewa. What what does the Bible I want I want you to help us understand or tell us what the Bible says about self control. Okay. Um mm. there are a number of uh, scriptures or mm. areas where mm. self control is talked about. Mm. Uh, in one of them the most favorite common uh, scripture mm. which is in Galatians mm. chapter 5 uh, from verse 23 it mm. talks about the fruits of the holy spirit okay and as it goes down it, it mentions self control as one of the fruits mm. and then in other portions you see the bible saying be ye of self control like control yourself mm. and it give, keeps giving so many other examples in areas where you need to manage yourself so mm. so ideally in the bible self control is a fruit or is a gift mm. of the holy spirit sure. mm. and then it's also a character trait a behavior that as children of god we are required to have mm. that you should be able to manage certain situations in ways that will honor the lord actually i think in all situations for the glory of god ngachi liti cha flavia byenyini byatu nyonyo de net cha flavia byogedde ko ne wanu tugenda byogera ko in depth ngatubingira mu nyonyo so um 
Do you think God wants us to have self-control? Yeah, of course. Personally, why do you think we should have self-control? You see, just like we've said, mm. it's that ability to be able to control either your emotions or your behaviors. Mm. So in situations, for example, if you cannot manage how you talk with others, mm. and you just talk anyhow, definitely you are going to fall into trouble. Okay. Sometimes you say what's not the truth. Other times you say what will anger others. Okay. Other times you say what will be an insult. Okay. So you'll be ashamed or you'll ashamed others by just what you say. Mm. In, in cases of behavior, things like people get angry mm. and so, so many things happen. If you cannot control the anger mm. or manage that anger, that's how you end up uh, having people uh, hurting their friends. Mm. Um, some of this damage they've done is beyond. They've hurt their friends. They've hurt also other things. Then property, you regret later. And then they are regretting. Mm. So, so if you are not able to control that, you realize that you are going to lose. You are going to cause a bigger problem. Okay. Not only for the people you are hurting because of your anger, but also for yourself. Because you've had people who have killed and they're in prison. And probably mm. they are serving bigger punishments. You've mm. had students or children who have done certain things in the schools mm. and they've been chased away from the school. And the parent will go like, me, I can't pay any other monies for you in any, in mm. any other school. Mm. So at the end of that day, you keep losing out on the blessings because you didn't manage yourself. Sometimes we, we, we have tendencies of, of greediness. You are mm. greedy for something and you can't control. So in a society where probably they've served something to eat and you show such tendencies. Um Mr. Lukwago but then Sabatwongero Kogera ku greed there. Kuba Faba Navato to in a tendency or in Zoku Jango Yagala Wuji, Mwawana, or Bagavayo Wuji, cutting Yagala Kunyachko Punga Jukira Mwana Bagavagatiaka ne ne chikopo cho bujechi ne juka to so asukawo banna ye to so bola sukawo ne baba kutenda kati children usually want aizo aizo fune chikopo cho kanga tana bana chinywa abako achiteleka atenze nkuma nyigo mwana gwe na teleke chikopo yo ba nakagati ba mayenje nanga ba basomesa teacher anze sifunye kati juki ya basomesa bafanyu kubana bana batakoze echi about a funny, well, you already have a funny cutting away in a department at a gang of buffer co, Catty Fenetus Gazen, Abatana Colachi, Abatana Funa, Catina, the Nagamba teacher Sicozechi, Sifunia Cagati, no wood of your Sifunia, no more, Nagenda, Canabella Nevico Pevy, no got your boy, when I will be home to the Cosechi, Bomolinze, Tocaducida were two cocunia, over a smanchy remove you one. Toss us to catch copper chim, Catty. Oba wa kanywa kesi kopechi, bichi ba tetsina ba na kugua ako, aba uli anga kozeti, anga kuse. Choka juu kwenye chile chia fanya chikozeti. No buga tio bwa, kano tana ba na kaku ata kwenye gana kai no kola chii. Njaga yake na ba na fe, chikwa tega na ni greed, echi intu echo. Chivi ba ida we si chiri unje, kati. Oksingi la dola faba na ba tutu, aba mu si fe na tu ine miruru. You see, mm -hmm. when you talk about greed, mm -hmm. okay, for us children, mm -hmm. it starts with what we eat. Yes. But it can also be in other things. Yes, true. Things, um, the normal, normal things our parents buy for us. Mm -hmm. They give you a shoe and you feel like it's not enough. Mm -hmm. Every other time you are passing a shoe, you want that other shoe. But you, I didn't have this. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they buy... Um, things for your friends, mm. because you feel it's you who is supposed to have it. Mm. You keep eh, complaining and saying, me, 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 me. Mm. So greed is that situation of you are not satisfied. Tomatida. You are not content. You feel 
what you have is not sufficient. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's okay. never enough. Uh, it's never enough. Now, that comes with so many problems. Mm. When someone discovers that you, you are never happy with what you have, mm. you are not content, mm. many times they get discouraged. Mm. They feel like they can never give you any other thing. So it, it discourages other blessings that will come on. Okay. It makes other people feel like you are not appreciated. Mm, we have a we have a saying in Luganda. It has seen It's true. Uh, so if that's how you keep acting every mm, other time, mm. people will start to note you, and of course it brings shame. Mm. You can imagine you you've had your share. Yes. And and you want another share for another person. It brings shame. Mm. If this is not managed at even a young age, mm. it keeps on growing even when people are adults. Mm. They can be greedy for so many other things, money, property, and things like that. And of course in the Bible, it also talks about the greed will not inherit the kingdom of God. You see? So, mm. it is something we need to start working on. When you are given something, receive it, appreciate it, and know that it's enough for this time. Mm. If another opportunity comes up, then you can have some mm, more. Okay. But if others have not yet got, mm. keep, keep the discipline and say, okay, I've had my share, mm. let the others have mm, Also their theirs. Mm. Yes. What are those steps I am supposed to take as a child to attain full self-control over myself? Hmm. Eh, okay. Uh, I think let me start from where we special our base a bit of my discussion from the Bible. Mm. Uh, we said self control is a fruit yes. of the Holy Spirit. Mm. So what does that mean? Mm. That if I if I'm going to have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, mm. I need the Holy Spirit in my life. Yes, past. yes. So that means mm. for me to be able to have that ability to say no to certain Just, mm. things or to put a stop or a limit, I Sweet. need an... <coughs> Excuse me. Am I not related to that one? I'm not reading a can't get it. Sorry. So, mm. like, like we said that it's, mm. it's the Spirit of God who bears this fruit in us. Mm. So we need to ask God of His Spirit. So when His Spirit comes in us, to to He enables us. Mm. Actually, the Bible says, mm. um, I'll pick that scripture for you in mm. John. Mm. It says that I'll give you the spirit, and that spirit will teach you, mm. and he will also remind you yes. of the things mm. I've told you. Mm. Now, self-control comes from the things we've learned. That's why our parents, our teachers, our mm. uncles, and all those play a big role in helping us mm. be self-controlled. They keep telling you that, you know, this you've gone overboard. This is not healthy. This is not proper. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so when we have the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. He teaches us that mm, you've quarreled, you over quarreled here. <laughs> uh -huh. Or mm -hmm. you are very impatient. <coughs> mm -hmm. So the Spirit of God will teach you. And now He will not only stop at teaching you, He will also remind you. Mm. Now, of course, children need a lot and lots of reminders mm. on what things they have learned. Mm. So there are things that teach our parents, our teachers, our uncles, elders, mm. and sometimes our peers. Mm. The our friends, have, too. For, there are mm. things they've taught us, and they are good things. Like, you know what? When you are talking with someone, don't talk with food in the mouth. In the mouth, or yes. don't, you know? Or oh, if you are doing, if you are going somewhere, do it this way. Mm. So those things they've taught us. Now the Holy Spirit reminds us that you know what? Every other time you are angry, 
and you open up your mouth, when you've not thought about what you're going to say, yes. you are going to be abusive. You are going to be insulting. You are going to say bad things. Offensive things to uh -huh. people, yes. So the Spirit of God will remind you that, ah, my dear, Calm if down. you are very angry, you rather keep quiet and move to another place. Or you rather bend down and cry and wait when you are okay. okay? Mm. And then you can talk about the, the, the issue later mm. on. Mm. So, so the process of getting us to being self-controlled starts with what we've learned. Mm. Okay? What we've learned and the reminders. Mm. And then of course also knowing what are the consequences and benefits mm. of whatever action I'm going to do. Mm. Because there are, there are a few examples we can pick in the Bible. Mm. You know Cain and Abel. Yes. Cain could not control his anger. Even when God reminded him, mm. he was telling him, take care, I see what is about to happen. Mm. And somehow, he ignored it. So he ended up killing his brother. brother. Yes. So he could not control. There is also another story of uh, Elisha and the boys. Mm. They saw him going, I think, to Jericho, mm. and he was an a old man with a, a bald head. Mm. So they started singing, hey, bald head, bald head, <laughs> go up and all that. Mm. So they could not control. I know as children, there are so many things that make us happy. Yeah. We, can, we can pick fun out of anything. A anything. Everything you know, makes us happy, by the way. how someone is walking and you want to laugh. And you also start you moving like that person. <laughs> and someone is yeah. honestly walking either in pain mm, or I know. In, in an... We need to pray, ask the Lord to give us His Spirit. And practice. And when the Spirit comes in us, He does very, very important things we don't miss out. Mm. He teaches us. So that means it, remind us, it reminds us what, what is that that we are learning mm. from our friends, our teachers, and all that. So he teaches us, and then he reminds us. So when your parents or your teachers or elders mm. are teaching you something, this is how they do it. This mm. is how it goes. Mm. It's a moment for you to learn. Okay. Okay? And then they will always remind us. I told you, you child. Mm, I told I you, warned don't you. do this. Uh -huh. So they also remind us. So self-control comes from what we've learned, what we've been reminded, and then also what we practice. Mm. So now what you've learned and been reminded, practice. Try it. So the tests will keep coming. Mm. And those are the tests you will be served food, and you have the temptation <laughs> of wanting to get yes, more. And more that is and a more. test for you. Mm. Are you able to pass it? Mm. So that means keep remembering. Mm. Don't be this and this. Mm. And of course, like we've said, mm. allow the Lord to help you. Because okay. you may not be able to do it all by yourself. So, so allow the Lord to help you. Okay. Um, thank you so much. You've really helped us. And uh, for the children that... Be, sometimes, you know, we see our friends, Musumba Ngaba College Chamo, Netuta Bagamba. God, I want you to know, children, that God uses us sometimes to be the self control of that person. Into sobo la wa munonga ina cha kola nga si chirunji. No mgamba na ye, chino to chikola mkama tachakola chi? Tachagala. So, um, uh, among all the things we tusome seze lero, nange vye njize, kanswe na mumina che muize, eh? Nepenza mwe mwina bie muandi, senja biba vuza. Hmm? Ku, ku YouTube, senja biba vuza mkomenzi. Anaba anzize mu anse ntufu, gwengendo uwe chidabu. Nguna tandi kukabe vila, umete mufaye. Thank you so much for, for honoring our invitation, no kuja. And children, thank you so much for listening. I hope this has been helpful. Na wazadda, baba deba lava. Mr. Lukwago, tisibula habana. Bye. See you in the next segment. Never tell a lie. Ah, here is my favorite red nail paint. This will go perfectly with my outfit today. Let me take a shower first and get ready. Wow, this color is so beautiful. I will paint an apple today with this.
My friends will be so happy seeing my painting. I kept it right here. Where is it? Oh, how can I misplace my favorite nail paint? Tofu? Have you seen my red nail paint? I can't find it. I kept it on my bed. Mm, no. What are you talking about? I was in the living room completing my art homework. I have no idea about your nail paint. Hmm. I will teach him a lesson now since he lied to me. Where is my painting? How will I show it to my friends and teachers? Maybe God punished me for stealing Tia's nail paint. Poor Tofu. He didn't know he lied and hurt me for his joy. Can I come in? I want to give you something. Yes, please. Come in. What is it? I'm sorry. I picked up your nail paint while you were in the shower. Actually, the color looked so beautiful and I wanted to paint a red apple for my homework with this. I knew it when I saw the red nail paint in the living room. I remained quiet because I wanted you to realize your mistake and so I took your painting. I'm happy that you understand I was heartbroken as it was my favorite nail paint. If you ever want to borrow anything from anyone, you should always ask for permission first. This is what good manners are. Always say, may I borrow your stuff please? If the person says yes, then only you should take it. I understood my mistake when my painting went missing. I will always ask for permission, Tia, before borrowing anything from anybody. Please forgive me. It's okay, Tofu. You're a good boy. And you understand things very quickly. Welcome back, children! Welcome back! Did you enjoy the rest of the show? Because I did... Did you see me where I came from? I was looking for signal. Now I found the signal. Anyways, children, I hope you have enjoyed the rest of the show. Did you learn something about self-control? Me, yeah, I learned something. Did you see the control I had when I came out of the zoo? There's a zoo around here, but you can't see it because you know, there's always a camera cuts off some things. Eh? So I can't move Anyways, children. I hope you've, you've learned something this week. Omani, each week we come back with different topics about different things because we want to teach you about those things. Movie, movie, take a more practice because they will help us, you know, in life. And then they are very important because. Lastly, sometimes. Yes, sometimes you teach the children about certain things, but then remember you also have a role to play. Sometimes it's beyond, you know, it's beyond okuna zako, nondisakumere. Sometimes we have to take extra steps hmm, to learning certain things. Abana visingevin to what to be many. Katinze manja galongambe to sindi kam no chokola oti. No ndaga konangi ninkula chi. So parents, also thank you so much for those that are really trying with the children, even those that are already that have already done things with the children. Concerning these topics we teach, so njagala kutumira kubantu abenja ulo nga otimu dikasera bela nkuwa ufana ni kuset. 
Mutumide. Mutumide Livingstone, today he's not here with us. We miss him so much, but we love him as well. I want to also send a shout out to Amanda. Thank you for always. And I want to send shout out to everybody, everybody, everybody. Aria Yonga, Tufumida, Tufumida. Hey, before I go out, I want to send shout out to Pastor. He's called Pastor Sematimba. I want to send shout out to Pastor Sematimba. Bambi Mkama Kuomksa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving us, the children. Nafetu kwa gala. I want to send shout out to Aunt Sarah Zawedem kwa gala and to send shout out to teacher Dan Kogalayo. And to send shout out to teacher Kotrida Kogalayo. Bonavis si to be the number in Bagalayo, which one in Bagalayo, never so miss a bit, so miss an old Sunday school. Never so miss a one moon, see my name, Bagalayo. Thank you, my beloved, so miss a father, and a two you gave it to him, so miss a quack at Nyam, I guess. Love and anger in Natchez over Gambe Guanga, Kuanga, but I was so miss a bang, so miss a. So thank you so much, Bagalanyo, without forgetting to thank Africa Union Ministries and Gaba Community Church for always sponsoring this show. They're the reason right to Luano. So thank you so much, Nabagugude TV, Bagalanyo, Batsumide, in a very special way. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. See you next week.